What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a great day. Why? Because we're talking plants. That's why. All right. I got some new subs. All right. And one actually said hi this time. Uh, Mike. Yo, Mike. What's happening, man? I like it when they say hi. Some uh, Majority of you, you sign up, you watch the videos, but you never say anything. Uh, another sub, Teresa. Hello, Teresa. And the last one is G Z Z one eight three. It's a cool name. Is it Cleon? Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whatever. Okay. So we have an awesome topic today. We are talking about plants. We're talking about how they absorb nutrients in general, and. Uh, I owe this topic today to a friend of mine. His name's uh, uh, Colin. Now, he wishes to remain uh, anonymous, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep it that way. Uh, but he's the manager at a PetSmart in Wilmer, Minnesota. Oh, shit. What? Uh, must be my inner voice. Anyway. All right, so here's how this played out, and I'm going to try to convey this and simplify it for you uh, as easy as possible. So my friend Colin, uh, while we were having conversations, at one point he had uh, mentioned uh, detritus. You know, uh, it's decaying matter from excess food, uh, dying plants, you know, fish waste that accumulates at the bottom. Uh, we also call it mulm. Um, and it got me thinking about nitrogen, and it just got stuck in my head, and I just kept thinking about nitrogen, 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 and then I realized that nitrogen happens two different ways inside of uh, aquariums. In soil and aqua soils, you have uh, ammoniacal uh, nitrogen, and then you have nitrates that come from the detritus or the mulm. All right, now plants actually prefer to uptake ammonia as their source of nitrogen rather than nitrates because it's easier for them to uh, assimilate all right um so there's actually a huge uh, a problem that does happen with hobbyists who've been doing it for years and if they're using um a uh, aqua soil it's common for after a couple years two three years or whatever that they just go ahead and toss out the old uh aqua soil and replace it um, even though they they do recharge it with liquid ferts from time to time or uh, root tabs. Now, liquid ferts and uh, aquarium root tabs, neither one of them provide uh, ammoniacal uh, nitrogen. They only provide nitrates, and those are absorbed fairly quickly and mostly by rhizome plants, and your rooted plants will get nothing. Now, rooted plants are affected uh, physically, after several years, if they're deprived of ammoniacal uh, nitrogen for quite some time, it needs to be replenished. Nitrates won't be good enough after a while. Uh, so, hobbyists find themselves replacing aqua soils, you know, and this is why, like, uh, people who use uh, dirt or organic soil are pleased for many, many years because it actually provides way more um, ammoniacal uh, nitrogen than any aqua soils uh, and the reason that aquarium companies don't put that type of nitrogen in liquid ferts or uh, root tabs well they don't put it in liquid ferts because you can't have it floating around in your water column it'll kill your inhabitants and I, I would assume that they're just scared to put it in in root tabs but they put it in their aqua soils you know they know it's supposed to be in there uh, so anyway so what I'm gonna do is tell you how you can recharge your dirt or your aquatic soil without having to replace it. You got to get that ammoniacal uh, nitrogen back in there. It's already, you know, been converted. It, it, plants trying to turn all that detritus into something they can use. It's just it's, it goes way too slow for them. What happens is if you overfeed your animals or, or you're overstocked with animals and they're just their waste is just piling up and piling up. Eventually, what happens is is it starts to smother and suffocate your rooted plants, and, and you'll see it. And this is why they have gravel back, so you can suck all that stuff out of there. It, it will build up and kill your rooted plants. Uh, so, to get it back in there, because the only 
uh, fertilizers that I found that had uh, ammonical nitrogen in it are fertilizers for potted plants. All right, and I happen to already have osmocote because I know that, and I do use it in my dirt substrates. Now, here's the thing. Ammonia in dirt binds to the dirt, okay? So, if I add this without crushing it up and putting it in gel caps like I've been doing in the dirt, because those have a sand cap. That's putting it in a massive amounts. I can put this in, and I've already done the math. You want to Google all this stuff and do it yourself? Go ahead. I've been at this for 12 hours. All right, I, I know how much each one of these provide. I can put one pellet every square inch inside of a inside of a dirted tank or a tank that has aqua soil, uh, and the dirt will bind to it without it escaping into the water column. All right, and I'm going to do that. All right, science. Science tells me that if I do this correctly, I'm going to appropriately charge my aqua soil. Uh, back to how it was when I first got it, and it doesn't need to be tossed out. Uh, I do have some uh, valicinaria and some other rooted plants that are looking sad in this tank because I do have a tank that's several years old that has old fluval stratum uh, in it. And um, yeah, I've been sticking root tabs in there. And don't get me started on cetrum. I've talked about that. Uh, cetrum, uh, there's officially severe complaints about how it has no nitrogen, so not even nitrates. Um, but anyway, I'm going to recharge it with this, and I'm going to prove that the science is a lion, and that I can put this in there, one pellet at a time, and in my fluval, space them out a couple inches apart, and the fluval will absorb it, and none of it will escape into my water column, and my 40 gallon of 20 fish will not be extinct when I wake up in the morning. All right, I'm going to prove it to you. And then I, you know, because I was considering tossing out this fluval. So, we'll see. I'm going to put it into in there. I'm going to turn this camera around, and you're going to watch me do it. So, give me a second. All right, yeah, shut up, Bill. All right, I can't hold the camera and do this. But I'm going to take some and just put it in my fingers, one at a time, and start shoving it in here. So, uh, as my coat. Now, remember, this is... Uh, the type of nitrogen that rooted plants enjoy, okay? Rhizome plants are different, all right? So you don't just want to dump this on the top of your substrate. You got to stick it in the dirt for it to bind to it. All right, we'll just dump, dump some out. Got a good amount there, yeah. All right, we'll start shoving it in. Now, I did notice a lot of these uh, rooted plants were looking sad, so it's why I'm doing this and I took the time to better understand rooted plants and nitrogen. I know this is going to work. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and there's going to be no dead fishes. All right. Yeah. I'm just shoving them underneath every single plant that looks like it's having a hard time. Now these aren't, you know, they don't dissolve right away. If you ever use API root tabs, as soon as they hit the water, they start like dissolving and turning into dust like instantly. These aren't like that. These take a bit. All right, now remember, there is no cap on this. This is just straight, really old fluval stratum that hasn't been charged up. Um, appropriately in quite some time. Um, and I did read that when rooted plants don't get the correct type of nitrogen, it actually makes the tall growing plants like Valicinaria, it stunts their growth. They don't get as tall, their leaves aren't as thick either. So if they're only getting nitrates, it actually uh, affects their appearance. So now, they can get what they want. I know it. No dead fish tomorrow. Now, I put a lot. I know exactly how much it is because there's a, a measuring tool in here that tells you. If you put this much in here, that's the amount 
that releases the amount of uh, nutrients in here per scoop. I just did two full of those. So I actually just dumped, uh, what was the uh, antimonical nitrogen is 8%. So I just put a little over 16% in there, which is, which is enough to kill uh, a human, okay? So I put way more than enough to kill 10 fish, all right? But I shoved it way down to the bottom of the fluval stratum, and science is going to protect these fish, and it's going to cling on to the dirt, and everything's going to be just fine tomorrow when I wake up. I know it. Yeah, we'll see. I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. It's been a full 24 hours. Before I talk about the fish, I've got a special shout out because I woke up to a treat this morning. I got a new subscriber. And guess who it was? Boom! Father Fish! Yeah! Uh, I'm sure you all probably follow him already, but yes, like you, I uh, YouTubed a lot of his videos when I first, uh, you know, was getting started. So, legendary man who knows everything. I still learn new stuff every day. You know, there, there, always, be, there always seems to be something I miss. Even years and years and years, there's always something. But anyway, oh, and thank you, Father Fish. See you around. But you're wondering if I uh, got some sleep last night, knowing that I dumped all that ammonia inside uh, my tank. Well, I'm going to tell you I slept like a baby. Uh, and I did. I wasn't worried. Um, because I know what this is capable of. Um, in fact, if you look in my Aquascape playlist, you'll see what this stuff does. Because I recorded it when I dumped it in here. I didn't put it in soil or anything. I just sprinkled this stuff all over in the tank to see what would happen. And it's, uh, uh, it's pretty horrifying, the amount of... Uh, ammonia it creates um i mean if you do liquid testers on there I mean, it, it it doesn't even have a color for it it's so dark red it's not even red anymore it's just like black the amount of ammonia uh, but i knew i wasn't gonna be putting animals in there for months and months and i owe k9 feces one of my subscribers he sent me down the spiral of this whole stuff because i didn't think about it until he he told me and i've tested it every way imaginable or at least i think i have well, yeah, now I've tested it with actual live fish. Um, and it does, if you're wondering, well, it's only been 24 hours, so how do we know that it's releasing anything, you know, into your tank? Osmocote, and this you can Google too, just just so everyone knows, um, there are a lot of YouTubers who uh, bullshit about a bunch of stuff, all right? Um, but when it comes to something like this, this is a, um, a, a dangerous path if I were to... You know, because I realize I can't prove to any of y'all that I didn't reach in there in the middle of the night and pull out all of the osmocote that I stuck in the fluval. Um, but it, if I were to suggest something and thousands of people listened to me and everyone killed all their animals, uh, I would have, a, I don't hide where I live, I, I would have a lynch mob here in Painesville, you know, going door to door until they found my house, you know, to hang, pitchfork me in the air and set me on fire. Uh, I, I knew it would be fine. Yes, all the fish are alive, and actually two are mating as we speak, and I'm going to show you the fish. I'm not hiding them from you. Uh, so I'll do a, a little clip and let you see. They're all uh, regularly fine, but... Uh, oh, and see, I got off topic. Uh, if, what I was saying, if you're wondering about whether or not this stuff uh, would have released anything in 24 hours, it, it does. Um, if you Google Osmocote the contents... The um, ammonia, the nitrogen source, uh, is actually coated on the outside of, of these uh, pellets. So it can get out there first. The heavy minerals and metals are what's on the inside. Uh, if you're using the one that has, you know, all the trace elements. Because you can't get osmocote that just has the uh, nitrogen, phosphates, and potassium. Um, and the anandamondidica uh, nitrogen. I, I probably said it wrong about 75 times yesterday. Anyway, so I'll, I'll turn this around, uh, let you see the fish, play a little elevator music, and like always, if you're having a bad day, you're down in the dumps, get up and do something about it. I appreciate you all. 
I'll see you next time.